All right, I'm back. Oh man, today's class was something else. Something else. I am happy to say though that I did remain uh, remember some of the movements, um, techniques, whatever you want to call them, from last Friday's class. So I'm not completely hopeless, <laughs> thankfully. Um, two movements specifically, one of them being. And when I say class, uh, I'm referring to the BJJ class uh, classes, in case you are wondering what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but yeah, the uh, passing the guard, I've been getting better at that to the point where I'm actually forcing my partners to defend against that. And uh, I'm posturing up. That's the most important thing. I'm posturing up so that they can't grab me by the neck. Uh, and even if they grab me by the collar, um, they have to deal with the fact that I'm trying to pass their guard and get into side control. So they have a choice, either grab my legs or maybe my ankles, so that uh, in the hopes of me falling backwards and failing the pass and they can mount me, or they can continue holding on <laughs> to my collar and try to uh, do some other maneuver. Um, and then the other technique or movement as uh, defending against defending against side control um, and just using hip escapes in general to get me out of that situation unfortunately today to in today's BJJ class we were learning how to do uh, sweeps and I wasn't doing it properly um, I wasn't doing them properly, so my partners just kept uh, escaping my guard. Or not, not escaping my guard. Really, I just, I just opened my guard up, right? And they're able to just easily uh, get into side control. I'm supposed to somehow do the sweeps without letting them get into side control. The thing is, though, for the sweep we were learning today. It involves opening up, right, going from closed guard to open guard. So, I don't know. I don't know how to prevent my partner from just posturing up and then just moving to side control easily like that. I was just scratching my head like, I don't remember how to do this technique properly. <laughs> I just kept saying that over and over again, but it didn't matter. Anyways, um, I should get to work. Turn that off. Then go into this playlist. Uh, yeah, start that playlist. But yeah, I am uh, essentially getting better at thinking about what I'm doing while I'm rolling, but. It, it's so weird. I can do the techniques just fine uh, while we're, you know, doing the drilling, right? Drilling them in. <laughs> drilling them in. Doing drills involving the techniques we just learned. We just learned in class. But then when it comes to rolling, my mind just, for whatever reason, turns off, and I'm not thinking anymore. I'm just reacting to whatever my partner's doing. Until, of course, I'm in a s situation where it reminds me, hey, I should be doing this, then that's when my brain turns back on. And, um, you know, essentially defending myself properly. But I'm not focusing on trying to do submissions anymore. I'm just more concerned about moving into different positions and defending myself in different positions. Close guard and side control are what I'm focusing right now. The sweeps is a new concept to me because it involves getting from one position to the other, but not defensively. 
um, offensively. And that's what, I guess, made me um, not understand all that. All right, let's see, what am I missing? All right, let's do the rest of the shoe. I got the stabilizer on. I finally posted those links to the VODs, uh, archive VODs onto my YouTube last night, no uh, yesterday I should say. <clears throat> so that's good. But at the same time though, Uh, I've also uploaded the drawings, or not drawings, the uh, last drawing onto my deep inner as well. So, caught up with all that. Now I could just chill for the most part, as far as that goes. I gotta say that, man, I don't know how I'm able to continue doing this. At this rate, I go to work exhausted, right, start my shift exhausted, and then I end my shift exhausted. Uh, I just don't know how some guys do it. Especially older guys. I think I'll feel better once I finish drinking this caffeine.
Actually, that's the shadow, the cuff. Uh, I'll just leave it like that, just to show that off. Okay, I just had to draw his face and crescent on his chest, and then I should be done with the line work. I can tell that I'm getting really hungry from the BJJ classes because, or rather, by the fact that I Normally you don't eat. I normally eat 30 grams of protein for breakfast, but I've been having to double that for the morning BJJ classes. And then even then, I usually eat some oatmeal um, and uh, a protein shake. I mean, uh, milk and a protein shake. On top of all that, so. Comes to about a thousand calories, roughly, a little more than that. 
for breakfast. But with the 30 grams of protein from the protein shake alone, it's more like... Oh. Five hundred, somewhere between five hundred and six hundred calories. So I'm having to eat double that plus carbs. Oof! Everything hurts. Actually, it doesn't make much sense to do that and then have that cut off. Go ahead and fix that. I can honestly do more line work so I can get um, not better at it but so I don't lose my wrist and arm stabilization just so to, just so the stabilizer muscles and those uh, parts of my arm drawing arm yeah uh, not get so laxed or lazy That's good. Stabilizer helps a lot and getting the line work done faster and more smoothly, but still though, can't uh, be lazy about it. I actually get better at drawing in order to be efficient at this. I do honestly wonder what my, we call him Professor, 
Um, but essentially our BJJ instructor, I wonder what he thinks of me. I mean, he looks like he's usually happy to see me go up to class, but I don't know. I can't help but feel like I'm one of his slower students when it comes to learning this stuff. I know I'm not the only one that struggles to learn quickly. Whoops. But it seems like no matter what I try to learn, you do. Like, for example, coding or any other skill or hobby. I always take forever to learn information. By the time I do learn it, it's either too late or it doesn't matter. Whoops. Actually, you know what, that's fine. I mean, thankfully I'm not in a setting where I gotta learn this stuff quickly, right? But at the same time, though, it makes me wonder what the instructor thinks of me. Like, you know, oh, this guy still struggling with the same problem. How many times do I gotta tell him that he's gotta do it like this? So on and so forth. Normally don't care about what people think about me, but It's just never a good feeling to know that you're one of the uh, not so smart students. And I guess younger people would be able to relate to this more because our people in college. Because unfortunately, when it comes to not just academics, but anything you do in life, involving information, knowledge, and skill. Your worth and self-esteem is tied to your, you know, knowledge and skill and all that. How well you perform and how well you know things. I mean, I understand that. People shouldn't judge themselves based solely on that, but it, it would be naive of me to think that, you know, I shouldn't try to get better at learning faster and, you know, understanding the techniques more efficiently. But I'm in a rush to become the best at anything I do. Except doing a pull-up. That I'm in a rush to do because it's been nearly a year now. As far as this other stuff goes, it honestly doesn't matter that much.
Alright. Is that the last two hit? The only good way to know that is by doing this. Mm, there's that stripe there, I forgot the drawing. But otherwise, that's all of his body parts. Yeah, it looks to be about it. Yep, oh, that's it. Okay, so let me just do that last stripe on his shoe. And I can move on to something else. Or I could just, you know, stop drawing and do something else. <laughs> nah. Oh. Yeah, I messed this up. I knew that sh looked weird. Yeah, let's fix that. something about these knuckles drawings I don't put my signature on them anymore or rather I have not put my signature on them like I have with the first four drawings such paintings in my even art gallery it's not like I care that much anyways because these are more so What's the word I'm looking for? Methods of, or a means to learn how to use digital art tools and methods of art making. Anyways, that's it. That's Knuckles uh, in a nutshell. I think I might have messed up there. Let me just fix that real quick. That just looks really weird. There we go. Alright. That's gonna have to be it, because I don't want to waste too much time on this. Now, the question is, how do I get the Versailles layer done using or rather how do I get the reference image to turn to grayscale? Like that, just turn the saturation completely off. <laughs> okay. And just move this to the side. I guess I have to zoom out. Okay. Create a new layer. And then call this the Crusade layer. Now, it's not going to be enough to just put in the contour shapes of the tints and shades and midtones and all that. I'm gonna have to actually blend this stuff together. The question is, do I just stick with the this number of values? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There are five values in between white and black, so I think that should be I should stick with that for now because I wanna keep this simple. Ooh got some food on my facial hair. Ow. 
got crusty in. Try to pull it off. Yeah, once this month is over, I might just shave all this facial hair off because it's just been nothing but a problem. It's not like I can't deal with the cold anyways, even without the facial hair. So, I might just do it. Just do it, man. Just do it. Okay. So, let's get back to this. Oh, I have to put the grisaille layer below the contour. Yeah. So, as always, got to start from light to darkest, or brightest to darkest, when it comes to anything. And we gotta change brushes as well. So we'll do wet bristles. I can be as messy as I want because this is just a grisai layer and I'm supposed to blend anyways. So I guess we'll do this. First, whoops. 50. Let's uh, turn this off. Oh, the, no, never mind. The gray maps come after this part. Never mind. Let's panic for a second. Basic. For some reason, from a very far distance, this uh, seems to be a really dark shadow casted on the bottom of his spikes on his hand. I'm not going to make it black, because that's a little too dark, but I'll make it something like the darkest shade I've got, yeah, something like this.
make this a little smaller. It needs to work, but let's do still... about it. why this is here.
Let's clean this up a bit. Just a bit. Do I still have that on? Yeah, I do. What is it? Oh, you know what? I know, I know how to fix this. Hold on. That. Get rid of all these. Then just hit that. There. Now I can't draw anymore. Cool. Ooh, hoot.
captured. There is more. Why does he keep staying that dark? It's weird. When I erase it, it's not dark like that anymore. Oh, I know why. Okay. Because it needs to be this. Well. Oh, I guess not. to do with this layer. Yeah, it does. Okay, weird. Why is it doing that? No, seriously, why is it... This one. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna have to deal with that on time. That might be a little too dark, but... In fact... Just leak this one. Okay. Use it again. No, that's right. I don't know why, but my eyes just don't see it like that, but whatever. Let's see. 
Should I do the head or the arm first? I guess the arm. Thankfully I could just use the eyedropper tool on the reference image and it'll figure out, it'll just figure out the uh, <laughs> value of the next gray I need to use. Oops, shouldn't be going that, even in like that. Why is it doing that? There we go. Is that right? That looks a little too dark. No, that's right. Okay. Whatever you say, Krita. Even though this gray looks really dark to me, if it's next to a bunch of, if it's next to, sitting next to darker grays or even black, it'll look brighter <laughs> than it does right now. Very strange. Thing that needs to be this color for some reason. Or this gray, I should say. Okay, I think that's going to have to be it for today's stream. Okay. <clears throat> Still looks a little too uh, sharp there. Okay. 
Let me use a smaller size brush. Yeah, there we go. That's what the problem was. Okay, whatever. Uh, there. Okay, that's it. I, I can stop. Okay, not bad. I got started on the grisai layer, and I'm already blending stuff in as well. Still looks a little off, but I'm not going by the values, or rather, I should say, the uh, exact uh, realm of color formula. The, ex the exact values from the reference image. I could do that, and it'll probably save me some time, but I'm not really trying to do that. Um, just because I need to blend the colors in anyways, or blend the values, I should say. So, kind of pointless. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. And go on to this playlist. Okay. I should just make a separate playlist, just labeled intro, outro, uh, and tracks. But anyways. Yeah, that's gonna be it for the stream. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Still looks strange though. Like it should be a higher value than that. Lighter value, I should say. It should, because. Yeah, but as I said though, I'm gonna trust Krita's judgment. And if it still looks weird and wrong, then I'll go back and fix it, but I shouldn't worry too much about that. Anyways, uh, is there anything else I wanna talk about? Or say, or announce? I guess not. Um, I guess there's only one real thing I should explain. Um, since my... I usually, uh, have Tuesdays off from my work but uh, unfortunately I don't get that this week so my first day off for the week is going to be Thursday instead of Tuesday and therefore I'm not going to be able to upload the stream VODs onto my YouTube channel until then not that much of a difference it's only a two day difference but you know um, better less so I'll uh, Hopefully not forget to do that. But anyways, um, that should be it. And like, shouldn't have anything else to say. And then once I get this Grisaille layer done, I'll use the color mapping. Um, gradient maps, my bad. Gradient maps uh, to do some of the coloring for me. Or maybe most of it, depending on how well it works. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for the stream. I'll pick this up in the next one. Peace.